Imagine being able to cleanly show two coins and then visually change them into one coin. The magician produces a coin. The magician takes the coin and it vanishes. He shows both sides of his hands and then produces the coin again. All four coins visually teleport to the corner. I'm also going to reveal my favorite close-up coin trick ever. The magician places a coin on some rubber and then pushes the coin right into the glass. Hey, how's it going everyone? Oscar Owen here, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you some amazing coin magic. Now, I've made sure that these magic tricks are really easy to do and always get crazy reactions. So if you're ready, let's go to the card table and start learning. The magician has a coin, puts it into his right hand and rubs his fist, and the coin jumps onto the back of his hand. Let me show you that again. He puts the coin in his right hand, rubs it, and the coin impossibly jumps. This trick literally takes 30 seconds to learn. So place a coin on your first finger and middle finger, and then close your hand around the coin. Leave a gap here wide enough to pull the coin out. Then put your other hand on top, and move both hands upwards in a tossing action. This will cause the coin to fly out on top of your fist. So it looks like this. Just keep isolating this move over and over until you get it, and very soon you'll be able to do the trick. The magician has four coins and two empty hands. He puts one hand behind his back and waves the other over the coins and they all visually teleport to the corner. For this trick you need five coins. Place four of them in a little square like this and then the fifth one to the right hand side. Then place both hands on the table covering this coin here and then turn them both over and then around like that. And it looks like your hands are empty. Then what you're going to do is use your palm to drag this coin next to this one here. So you just drag this one to the top right, right hand corner and then you use the bottom of your hand to drag the bottom right hand coin sideways to the bottom left hand coin. So you're in this position, you drag this one here and then you drag this coin here and then finally the top left hand corner coin you drag away with your hands and it looks as if these two coins have now teleported. The next thing you're going to do is drag this coin to the side and deposit this coin up here. So you come round, come down, grab this bottom coin with your hand and then deposit the other coin up there with the three, move your hands away and then finally you're just going to deposit this coin here and brush this coin off the table. So you put that coin there and brush that one off the table. If you're interested in learning amazing card tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then please check out my online card course, Card Magic Pro. It will teach you everything you need to know about card tricks, starting from the very basics all the way up to more advanced tricks and slights. So several thousand people have already joined the course and they've said how they learned more from this course in just two weeks than in two years of learning magic on YouTube. I teach you what I think are the best card tricks ever created and these are tricks that you can literally take with you to any social situation and amaze whoever you're with. So if you're interested, please click the first link in the description to check it out. The magician takes a coin, vanishes it and then makes it reappear. To learn this trick you need to break it down into three parts, practice each part individually then put them all together at the end. To begin take any coin and place it between your thumb and first finger like this. What you need to practice doing is pressing down with your first finger so that the coin snaps backwards behind these two fingers. So just keep practicing that over and over again until it's natural and you want it so from the front point of view you can't see the coin. The smaller the coin the easier this is and also when you do this you want to have these fingers pulled back so the spectator has a very clear view of what the coin is like before and what the coin is like after. For the next part you're going to take the coin and use your thumb to push it over your first finger so it rests on your first finger like this. So have the coin here and move it onto your first finger like that. Just isolate this move and once you can do it, then practice bringing your middle finger up 
and clipping the coin in this position. When you turn your hand up, it looks as if there's nothing in your hand. So all put together, you vanish the coin, you then slide it onto your first finger, clip it, and then open up your hand like this. It now looks as if there is nothing in your hand. For the final part of this trick, you just need to toss your hand upwards and let go of the coin slightly, and it means you'll be able to catch it just like that. The magician has a cigarette and a coin. He pushes the cigarette through the coin visually. He then removes it and hands it out to be inspected. To do this trick, you'll need a cigarette, a normal coin, and a special coin with a hole in it. I've left a link down in the description to where you can get one of these. To begin, place the normal coin in finger palm, so you just curl these two fingers around the coin, and then you take your thumb and first finger and hold the special coin with your first finger covering the hole. Then take the cigarette in your other hand. To begin, you basically just push the cigarette through the hole, and you let this moment burn into the spectator's mind so they really remember that the cigarette's really gone through there. As you pull the cigarette out, use your first finger to cover up the hole, and all you need to do now is switch the, the gimmick coin for the normal coin. The way in which you do that is very simple. You bring the gimmick coin in, and then just drop the other coin out of your hand and let it rest in your palm, keeping this coin here, and then you can hand everything out to be inspected. The magician transforms two coins into one. This is hypervisual. This trick requires a flipper coin, which is a coin that opens up into two coins and then folds back into one. But essentially, when you drop the flipper coin, because it's got a rubber band inside it, the coins fold into one, just like that. So the way in which you do this trick is very simple. You place both coins onto your hand, everything looks natural, pick them up, and then just drop them. And now you can display this coin as one. At this point, the problem with the flipper coin is it can't be handed out for inspection. So what you can then do is either switch it out, or you can do a French drop vanish, which I'm teaching in this video linked here, where you can basically pretend to take the coin and vanish it, when in reality the coin's stuck here, and then you just place that into your pocket. The magician shows his empty hands, and then produces a coin. This is a beautiful popping coin production that I came up with earlier this year. I hope you like it. Take a small coin and place it at the base of your fingertips like this. Then when you curl your fingers up and angle your hand upwards, the spectator can see this part of your hand, but they can't see the coin behind your fingertips. So just hold your hand like this. Then what you're gonna do is show your other hand empty as well. And then as you rotate around sideways, use your thumb to push the coin so that it's clipped between these two fingers here, between your thumb and your first finger. So you go from this position to this position as quickly as possible. Once you're in this position here, just tap your hand with the coin below it once, twice, on the third time, you're just gonna open up these two fingers and allow the coin to be produced. The magician takes the coin and it vanishes. He shows both sides of his hands empty and then produces the coin again. To make the gimmick for this trick, take some fishing wire and stick it to the back of a coin like this. You can see here that it's in a loop and you want the loop to be about the same length as your thumb. It means you can do this. Once you've made the gimmick, place it onto your thumb like this. Show it to the camera and you're gonna to need to just bounce it up and down a little bit and then in one movement, you're gonna rotate your arm this way so that, and use a little bit of force momentum so that the coin can flick around your hand to behind it like that and at the same time you just close your hand. When you put the two together it looks like this. Now you can open up your hand and reveal the coin's gone when in reality it's simply here. If you then want to show this side of your hand empty all you're gonna do is, as you rotate your body round this way, you're just going to swing the coin so it goes into your palm like this. This is actually really easy to do. 
So you just show your hand like that and just rotate your wrist slightly and you see the coin is now here. You can then show this side of your hand empty, close your fingers around the coin just like that and then reveal that it's back. This is perhaps my favourite close-up coin trick. The magician has a coin on some rubber. He then tells the spectator to take their finger and push the coin through the rubber. Everything can be inspected and there's nothing to hide. If you want an amazing coin trick that cannot go wrong, then this is the coin trick that you should do. For this trick, you need a glass, a coin, a rubber band, and this special rubber here. I've left a link down in the description to where you can get it. Once you've got this rubber, you want to take the coin and stretch the rubber out completely. Now the rubber looks green, which is why this illusion works, but when you stretch it out, it goes see-through. Just place the coin in the stretched out rubber and then close everything up. And now it looks as if the coin is on top of the rubber when in reality it's underneath it, as you can see like this. Then place everything onto the glass. Then take the rubber band and just put it around the rubber like this. And as you can see, it now looks as if the coin is on top of the rubber, which is on top of the glass. Now just simply get your spectator to press down on the coin and it looks as if it's gone straight through the rubber. 